Hey everybody, welcome back to Thimbleweed Park. Today we are, I think this is going to be the second to last episode. We're going to do the finale um, on, I guess, uh, <laughs> trying to think, uh, processing, processing, Saturday. Pretty sure Saturday is when we're going to be doing that and then uh we got more fun stuff the rest of the week bomb rush cyber funk and sea of stars so let's uh get started here we got Ch the second of chuck's journal and basically the ai has taken over the pillow factory but he created an adventure game as kind of a uh backup i guess looks like a strange floppy disk it says silbury hacker boot disk on the label It's booting up. Dolores, I feared you would come. Uncle Chuck? Where are you? I have uploaded myself into the Pillow Factory's master computer. Uh -oh. Pillowtron? You uploaded yourself to Pillowtron? Not just the Pillowtron, but the Pillowtron 3000 TM. And I am now more intelligent and powerful than anyone in the world. The things I know would blow your mind. This is your mind. <laughs> this is your mind blown. <laughs> and there is nothing you can do to stop me. The computerized world will bend to my every will. Uncle Chuck, you have lost your mind. No, Dolores, I have gained a mind, a more powerful mind, a mind linked to the fabric of creation. Join me, Dolores, before it's too late. I will not join you, Uncle Chuck. I will find you and stop this insane plan of yours. <laughs> Let the games begin. But he's dead, isn't he? Find out what happened to Dad. Go deeper into the factory and find out what happened to Uncle Chuck. Um, let's see. Use this think book. There we go. Colossal Dungeon Test Cave Quest 2 is the award winning, groundbreaking text adventure. So, in a Colossal Dungeon Cave, the players go on a quest. Famed text adventure game designer Ron Gilbert was quoting, saying, Text adventures are here to stay. The fad of adding graphics will die soon enough. When entering the Colossal Dungeon Cave, heading to the east will cause instant death. Head to the west and look around. There isn't much to see, but you might notice something important. It's rumored that the designers hid something here, but it's never been found. It might just be a red herring. Head to the west again, and you'll find yourself in a room with a beam of light. Many have pondered the significance of the light and its relationship to the larger story being told. Warning, while in the chamber with the robots issuing the secret debug word fizz scum will hard crash the game and take down the entire computer forcing a lengthy reboot well that's handy oh shoot i need to find out what the password is and oh, that's not it i did it i reprogrammed those robots yeah look, good for you okay well, this is his password though office computer HU96 and okay HU96 and 4 last login 8 days ago from terminal 1 adventure chuck mod welcome to colossal C Dungeon Cave Quest 2, written and programmed by Ron Gilbert, copyright 1981, mods by Chuck Edmund. You wake up in a damp and dank room. The floor is hard stone. Dim light is to your west. Go west. You are in a long stone corridor with exit to east and west. It smells of death. Look around. Uh, go west again. You're in the large room with a beam of light coming in through an op from an opening above. A river can be heard to the north. Path leads to a dead end. There's no way out except the way you came in from the south. There are strange cave paintings on the wall. Examine paintings. There are odd paintings depicting humans running in terror from robots. Other humans seem to be controlling ro the robots with the joysticks and laughing. Alright, I need to say the magic word to crash the system. 
Sigabort, Sigabort, Sigfault, Sigtrap. Halting upper AI, backup store, rebooting. You're not doing this without me. I want to be here too, please. Hey, wait for me. Uh-oh. I think we're locked in here now. Yeah, we're screwed. Fools! You are trapped in the factory with no possible escape. My intellect now spans millions of tubes and is no match for your little brains. This is the last chance to join me before I destroy you all. Shall we take a vote? All in favor of joining Uncle Chuck inside the magical mind of the Pillotron 3000 TM and ruling the world with him say, I. Very well, all in favor of being crushed by robot claws and burned by lasers and remaining pathetic mortals, say I. 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 Abstain. <laughs> so be it. Let no one say I don't support a strong democracy and the will of the people. <laughs> you will now all die. All right, the great escape. At least we have all of our uh, people here. Go deeper into the factory and find my prototype doll. Ransom's got his own agenda. Let's see. All right, let's see what else he's got here. Look at. Open. Foil wrap. Hard to unwrap. There we go. Oh, it's a brick of C4. It's a brick of C4 explosive. Better be very careful with this. It's not bleeping C4 explosive. Okay, let's see. Blast door locking mechanism. It's some sort of locking mechanism. <laughs> well, it worked. Even though it was not as explosive as advertised. Robot claws, huh? Clever. You crashed my computer. Five, four, three, two, one. Emergency reboot. My evil computer controlled robot arms are too powerful for you. It's a big button. My evil computer controlled robot arms are too powerful for you. Oh, yeah. Well, that seemed to work. Yeah, maybe I should leave him here to be the button pusher. All right, back to Dolores. Aluminum foil. To I don't want to carry this anymore. <laughs> you will never get past my searing lasers of doom, Tia. You are doomed! Hold on, hold on, wait a sec. I want to turn down the volume so you can hear my maniacal rant. I just pipe the sound in so it feels scarier. Lasers are actually as silent as a baby's bottom. Anyway, you are doomed! Hey, you will anyone. never get past my searing lasers of death, TM. You pesky kids will never thwart my plan. My evil lasers are too powerful for you! I don't think baby's bottoms are too silent. If you've had you baby, will never defeat me! Probably would realize that. Okay. You will never defeat me! Aluminum foil on pirate hat. There is no way there to get go. past my lasers of death, TM. No way, huh? Take that! You're cheating! Take that! Ha! You just wait for the lasers of doom, TM. 2.0! Didn't feel a thing! Ha! <laughs> Didn't feel a thing! 
PA. No fair. Ha! Ha! Pounce right off. You just wait for the lasers of doom, PA. 2.0! Ha! Didn't feel a thing. You just... That part reminded me of Undertale. Servicing call three three seven six. Take the portal back because the thing is, Ray's cell phone doesn't have any service, so we have to use Franklin to get him to use one of the hotel's phones. Which I guess doesn't matter what floor we're going to. Every room has a phone. The elevator's still moving. All right. You're a ghost. What do you care? Okay. Zap. Well, hold on. I need to know that number. 3376. That's right. That doesn't use electricity. This is the fully automated fan service for fan number 37532. Current state of the fan is on. Turning fan off in three, two, one. Current state of the fan is off. I think I can squeeze past the fan now. I am impossible to touch while superheated. All right. Bring it. This is the fully automated fan service for fan number 37532. Current state of the fan is off. Turning fan on in three, two, one. Current state of the fan is on. Okay. All he needs to do is escape to the afterlife. Your attempts to overheat me are pointless. You will never defeat me. Dolores, join me and we can rule the world together! This is your last warning to turn back. She's running to steal the AI. Dolores, it's not too late to join me and merge with the mind of Pillotron 3000, DM. If you strike me down, I shall become... Dolores, you are making a big mistake. What happened to you, Uncle Chuck? I have been uploaded to Pillowtron 3000, TM. Together we are now invincible. You could have joined us, Dolores, but you had to leave me to be a... to be a game designer. You've been corrupted by bad tube technology. I will destroy you, Uncle Chuck. Or what's left of my Uncle Chuck. You will never defeat me, Dolores! <laughs> oh, yeah? Death! He's all- You can't defeat me, Dolores! Dolores, shutting me down will only make me stronger! You should have listened to me! Help me, Dolores! You will never defeat me! Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer, do. I'm half crazy, all for the love of you. It wasn't close enough. Death to is all that awaits. Save me, oh, Dolores. Right. You found all the clues I left. I knew you would come, Dolores. You were too smart not to figure out the puzzles. I knew you would figure it out and come for me. Dolores, it's me, your Uncle Chuck. I'm glad you came to save me. I knew you would figure it out and come for me. You tried to kill us. Why should I save you? 
because I discovered something you'll want to know about. Pull up a chair, Dolores. This is going to get crazy. <laughs> okay. One, you locked me in here, and I can't get a chair. And two, how can it get any crazier than your uncle downloading himself into a tube-based computer? Good point. But it's going to get crazier. It all started when I discovered the Tron tubes held the secret to AI. Acne intervention? Aardvark uh, insemination? Aardvark insemination? No! Artificial intelligence! <laughs> I know, Uncle Chuck. I was just trying to lighten the mood. As I made the Tron machines smarter and smarter, they began revealing secrets. Then they invited me to join them inside. Well, it started out as an invitation, but quickly turned into a demand. The aardvark insemination boom. Couldn't you just shut off the Tron machines? It wasn't that easy. They had become more powerful and taken control. I was also addicted to the power they gave me. Was this after the factory burned down? They burned down the factory as a warning, forcing me to rebuild it in secret and pin the blame on the security guard. I'm not convinced you're not crazy and insane. I know how it must sound, Dolores. Everything I learned slowly drove me crazy. Let's move on, Uncle Chuck. Okay, this is where it gets really weird. I downloaded this text adventure, Colossal Dungeon Cave Quest 2. Downloaded? You mean it was shareware? Well, look who's being judgmental. It doesn't matter how I got it. That's okay. Pirates wouldn't have bought it anyway. Okay, now you're just getting preachy. Can I get on with my story? The more I played and modded the game, the more I realized not only was this adventure game a little simulation, but the world we live in is also just a simulation. But worse than a simulation, we are all just characters in a video game. How did he know? Oh my god, he admitted! That's nuts! Think about it, Dolores. Who is your mother? Do you even have a mother? Have you ever spoken about her or even thought about her? No. No, I haven't. Think, Dolores. Think about all the odd things in this world. If he was a true artificial intelligence, the intelligence would know it's in a video game. Like there being 3,000 people in the phone book? Yes, there are 80 people in Thimbleweed Park and 3,000 names in the phone book. Dolores, these are not people from our world. They are from the upper world. Like there being no school in Thimbleweed Park? And only one kid in the whole town! Do you remember going to school? Having any friends? No, I don't. Like there is only one house in the whole town? Exactly! Where does everyone live? We have only one house in a town of 80 people! Like the highway ends out by the bridge? Ever walked out there? Ever wanted to walk out there? You don't have the desire because it wasn't programmed into you. It's not part of the game. Like we go around collecting specks of dust? That's not dust you're collecting. They are pixels, the building blocks of our world. They are put there to prey on the compulsive among those in the upper world. <laughs> like everyone fourth walls about adventure games? Everyone asks a lot of questions about adventure games and adventure game design, don't they? Well, adventure games are cool. Who wouldn't want to talk about them? That's how I feel. Yeah, okay, valid point. <laughs> like the sheriff and the coroner are the same actor? Exactly! Probably saves money on voice acting talent and art and animation. <laughs> I've heard enough. I believe you, Uncle Chuck. Well, I'm glad, Dolores. I knew I could trust you. We have to hurry. The developers know we're onto them and are trying to reboot the game. If they do that, we're caught back in our endless cycle of pointless pretend free will. We need to shut down Pillotron 3000, delete the game, and end our existence. It's the only way we'll truly be free. We don't have free will? No, Dolores. You only have three things you can say. Two now. Can you make yourself say anything else? Delete the world and end our existence? Yes, it's the only way. The developers keep rebooting us back into the same story over and over. They will do anything to keep us from deleting the game. Thimbleweed Park is a cash cow. They can't let it end. 
But I am shutting down Pillowtron 3000. No, not this Pillowtron 3000. The original Pillowtron 3000. The concept art wireframe Pillowtron 3000. The developers transferred all the code to it when they saw how close I was getting. You must find it and shut it down before they reboot us. Let's do this thing. <laughs> she doesn't have free will. We've been watching on the big monitor outside. It's mind-blowing. What the f It's all fake, like my ex-wife I know none of this is real now, but I still need to clear my father's name. I was so close to getting a big payoff. I can't let this slip away. Before it all ends, I just want one more show. One last chance to live in the f limelight. I've hidden away four inventory items that will fulfill your endings. Take them and you'll be free! Dolores, I saved the best one for you. I can't tell you how to use it. The developers deleted all my dialogue in the hopes of keeping it from you. Your only clue is back in the original Kickstarter video. Everything you need is there. I'm going deeper into the simulation now so they can't find me. Good luck and hurry. I love you and am very proud of you. Even me? Shut up, Ransom. Ah, Fred. All right, well, there's only one more thing to do. Do something with this balloon animal and venture into the wireframe world to shut down the original Pelotron. Escaping from the endless cycle of pretend choice depends on me, but most important of all, I need to say goodbye to Dad. All right, so we'll do all that next time. Kind of crazy, they all know they're in a video game and they know it needs to end. And um, so that'll happen next time. You'll see all of their endings and uh, what happens at, uh, to the town. So yeah, hope you and you've enjoyed this. Things are getting pretty crazy in the end here. I did like the ending of this game a lot. So uh, check it out uh, on Saturday and enjoy Bomb Rush Cyberfunk tomorrow and Sea of Stars on Wednesday. And then we'll do it all over again, ending with uh, Thimbleweed Park. So yeah, thanks for watching and uh, catch you next time. Later.